between Tyson Fury and Leon Edwards. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's easy for us. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for versus Jones, Woodley versus Maya, Cyborg in the championship, 
Dos Santos versus Velasquez. So many people have come to this arena as champion and lost those titles. What history will you make tonight? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Looking to land the right just out of range. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him right here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That was a jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? all about that left kick to the body. And they separate. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Tyson Fury. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Absolutely melted by that head kick. Good punch, Lance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Fury's overhand punch to the head. It doesn't get there. It was telegraphed and it was blocked. Oh, shoots with a double leg takedown. Looked to be a good entry. Unable to finish the job. down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Attempt. That's a miss. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that job. Great. Oh! Oh, first man. He hurt that job. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, well, both side is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Back to the feet now. 
Right, they'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch, man. Edwards is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Like, know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Punches in punches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Fury's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Left hand punch him to clinch. Gets caught with that punch. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Boom! Big oh. jab. Back to the feet. Oh! Straight right. He misses. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh! He's out! What? What yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson.